Hello, Mr. Edwin, how are you? Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you, Johannes? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I am doing great. Happy to be here with you in another opportunity of learning. Mr. Edwin, how are you? Miss Wendy, welcome. Hello, Wendita. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. How was your day? ¿Qué tal el día de trabajo? ¿Cómo les fue? Good. Very hard. Very hard, I imagine. I imagine how difficult it was. In which area are you working, Jonis? ¿En qué área trabajan ustedes? Uh, I work in the uh, quality area. Okay. Oh, my God. So you have to be very careful with every single detail. And you, Wendy? I work in tailor. Tailoring. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, that's another that requires a lot of precision, right? You have to be very detailed, very careful because one little mistake and the product is ruined. Un medio errorcito y el producto se fue. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Welcome, Janira, Mr. Jorge, Diego, Dennis, Mr. Luis Parrillo, Mr. Walter. Christian, teacher Nat. <laughs> yeah, I welcome everybody and, and I have never welcomed myself. Welcome Nati to another class. I say, yay. Well, <laughs> yes, that's very curious because I say good morning to everybody, good evening to everybody, but I never say good morning to me or good evening to me. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here. Well, Janita and Wendy, between all these gorgeous men, right? Benditas entre estos montón de hombres. Hito, for sure. Aquí humildemente. Okay, my dear students, welcome to <clears throat> this class. Welcome to your Friday class. We are going to uh, to enjoy this day. We are going to work a little bit on different things. We are going to be um, practicing a little bit. And for sure, we are going to have the chance to check the platform today. We are going to check section number one to see if you have advanced. Remember that you can advance as much as you want. I always say, if you want to finish the platform, finish it. If you want to advance a lot, advance right there is no problem with that so as much as you want to work for me 
better, right? It is better for me that you work as much as you can. So um, we are going to check today a little bit of the progress in the platform. And for sure, we're going to check as well uh, the topic of the day, that it's um, adverbs of frequency. We are going to work on adverbs of frequency, a little bit of practice on quantifiers as well. So um, that's what we are going to be doing today. But first of all, I want to take a couple of minutes to show you this, right? I wanted to take a couple of minutes to show you this. And uh, today, INSA Forb is celebrating the 30th anniversary. Imagine 30 years of helping El Salvador to develop people, right? 30 años de ayudar, de colaborar y de desarrollar profesionales que pues andan en busca de mejorar sus habilidades laborales. Así que eh, hoy queríamos hacer una atenta felicitación a INSA Forp en sus 30 años, en su celebración de 30 años. Y qué mejor pues que ser parte de esto que ellos han creado, ser parte de esta, de esta pues buena voluntad de ayudar a crecer a los profesionales. Pues todos nos vemos beneficiados de esto creciendo profesionalmente, educativamente, pues yo he tomado muchos cursos con INSEFOR y me siento sumamente agradecida con ellos. Y pues el hecho de servir como facilitador de INSEFOR también me llena de mucho júbilo que ellos estén celebrando este aniversario. Así que queríamos hacer este momentito de, de detenernos, pensar y decir 30 años, quizás la edad de algunos de nosotros, 30 años de estar apoyando al Salvador con este desarrollo profesional, formando pues mejores profesionales cada día y qué orgullo que ustedes ahora ya sean parte también de estas filas de profesionales que se están formando para ser mucho mejores cada día. Así que eh, queríamos tomarnos este momento para felicitar a Insafor en sus 30 aniversarios. Así que chivísimo que seamos parte de esto y pues ser parte de esta celebración también también nos llena a nosotros como inglés corporativo y a mí como facilitadora y a ustedes como pues participantes de los programas de INSAFOR. También creo que es muy, es muy bonito el, la obra y pues quería tomarme este momento para comentarles, hacerlos partícipes de esta pequeña celebración de 30 años de INSAFOR. Y qué mejor celebración que pues educándonos, <risa> saliendo adelante y pues creciendo profesionalmente en la mejor manera que podemos hacer para celebrar nuestro día. Así que chicos, eso les quería mencionar para iniciar. Vamos a iniciar ahora con the review of the platform. I will switch to English back. I, I love Spanish, but I love English. Yeah, I, I think that my Spanish version is one person and my English person is another version, right? Todos, aún ustedes cuando hablan inglés son su otra versión. Más fancy, más classy, más elegantes. <laughs> when you speak English. And the Spanish version is something different. Well, so section number one. Section number one in the platform was about work-related events. And you had different... Uh, parts on this section that you were supposed to complete, right? As you can see here, you have the video conferences that we have had. If you want to check on the classes, they are there, okay? If you want to check any class that we have started, they are on the platform. Todas las clases automáticamente se terminan, se suben a la plataforma. Así que eh, si ustedes quieren ir a repasar algún tema, alguna clase, algo que vimos algún día, las pueden encontrar en la plataforma. So here, you just click on the on the picture and there you have it. Ah, there's your teacher at the beginning of the class, as always. So you can find the classes there. Here, you can also have, well, the first exercises on which uh, we were talking about activities that you do every single day. So we were working on simple present. In this one, you have here in the morning. So you say, I take in a shower, I take a shower, or I take a shower. Take a shower. <clears throat> I, I take a shower. Why not to use this one? ¿Por qué no podemos ocupar taking a shower? I take in a shower. Porque ya otro, eh, 
¿Por qué primero? Porque cuando habla de primera persona, se, es el verbo, no se usa. Ah, el verbo what? Es por el, el verbo, verbo que, que es como que, que lo está realizando en el momento. Ajá, uh -huh. ya. Yeah. Well, but that's a, that's a very good observation, Johnny's. This is present continuous. But in present continuous, you use the verb to be. Cuando usamos present continuous, que lo vamos a ver un poquito más adelante, usamos el verbo to be y sería I am taking a shower, okay? To be correct, right? But in this one, as we have simple present, the simple verb, because you have I, I take. I takes, this is, why is it not possible? Para tercer persona. It is for third person, excellent. Very good, Luis. That's a very good answer, right? It is for third person, and here we're talking about I, that is the first person. Let's continue here, and it says my boss. If you talk about your boss, is it he or she, right? My boss. So in this case, what type of verb do you use with he or she? Sense. Sense, right? You have my boss, sense, porque tenemos tercera persona here. Tercera persona, tercera persona, right? My boss sends emails every day. Right, you have it there. Let's continue here. My co-workers. ¿Qué sujeto sería este? My co-workers. Tercera persona. My co-workers. Ellos. Es plural. Right? It's plural, right? My co-workers will be they. Okay, it will be they. So you say they. They. Have. They have, right? Because haves doesn't exist. Este es inventado, este no existe. Has is for third person and have is for uh, second person plural. Very good. So let's continue here. Okay, así, así como voy haciéndoles cada ejercicio, así tienen que analizarlos ustedes. Tal vez les va a tomar un poquito más de tiempo, pero no solo uh, have, hi, has, nah, whatever. No, y al final cuando revisan, no, no sale bien, ¿verdad? sino que Analicen cada uno. Ah, esta es tercera persona, es simple present, vamos a ocupar esto, este no existe, este está bueno. So try to analyze a little bit, try to be a little bit curious there. The secretary, what is this subject? The secretary. Third person, third person right? It's third person, he or she, because you are talking about the secretary. Usually, arrives, arrives right? arrives, even when you have here an adverb of frequency, this, the verb is going to be in third person as well, right? Usually arrives late to work. It's very common, right? The secretary usually arrives late to work. Let's continue here. It says we, this is an easy subject because we have it very clear, right? We, and you are included, we never, Work on weekends. We never weekend. work on weekends, right? We never work on weekends. And in this case, we includes you. They don't include you, okay? And there you have, and then you check. That was a very easy exercise, right? Is that complicated? No. It was not complicated. Easy. Right? It was easy. <clears throat> in this one, you have time expressions. Time expressions as we started before, right? Every morning, every Friday, every Saturday, once a year, twice a year, etc. right? They go at the end or at the beginning of the sentence. In this case, they go at the end. It says, I take a shower. <laughs> if you live in El Salvador, every minute. Every two times a year. If you live in Alaska, two times a year. I take a shower every day, right? En El Salvador quisiéramos tomarla cada minuto, no salirnos de la ducha. Every day. I take a shower every day. My partners have a party. Monthly. 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 Because you don't say every monthly. Porque monthly ya significa cada mes o mensualmente, right? Each month is not possible, right? Porque each es para singular. Y sería each year. 
each month. Okay, no puede ser para plural. Monthly, it's correct. My boss writes reports. Daily. Daily, right? Because days is not possible in this case. Sería mi jefe escribe reportes días. It's not logical. Cada días. Every is for singulars, right? Every morning, every year, every Saturday for singular things. Daily is diariamente. That's correct. I have a meeting. Weekly. 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 I have a meeting weekly. I have a meeting weeks. ¿Qué significaría? Semanas. Ah, Semanas. You say, yo tengo una reunión semanas. And each weeks? Semanalmente. No, ¿qué Semanal. significaría each weeks? Cada semana. Cada semana, right? And that's not, that's not correct. Each is for singulars as well, right? Each day, each year, each month. People at work go to conferences. Yearly. Yearly, Yearly. right? Every year? No, every is for singulars. One year? La gente de mi trabajo va a las conferencias un año. <laughs> ¿Y dónde anda Cristian? En la conferencia. <laughs> it's one year. Año. It's not possible, right? Yearly. It's once a year. There you go. So that was the, uh, the exercise. It was very easy as well. The next one says, how much and how many? We just started this. Parks. Plural. How many, how many, how many parks are there in your city? Very good. Parks is plural, right? Time. How much, how much time, time, time do you need? need? How much time do you need, right? How much time do you need? Pollution. How much, how pollution? many? Pollution que es? Contaminación. ¿Pueden contar la contaminación? Oh, Ay, aquí por mi colonia se sienten como tres contaminaciones. You cannot <laughs> count that. It's in general, right? It's in general. You are talking about a whole situation, right? So you say, how much? Because it is uncountable. Contamination, pollution, you cannot count it, right? Co-workers. How, how many, many co-workers do you have? How many co-workers do you have? Because co-workers are plural. Money. How much money do how you need? Much money do you need to buy a house? One kidney, I guess. Yo creo que un riñón no alcanza. How much money? <laughs> <laughs> How much money do you need to buy a house? A lot, a lot here in El Salvador, right? And they say, barata, barata. $150,000. The next one. So you go here. In this one, we are going to use the correct form of the simple present negative, right? This was the first topic that I taught you. Este fue el primer tema que les enseñé el día martes. Simple present, affirmative, negatives, and interrogatives. Mario is a first, second, or third person. Third person. Third person. What type of auxiliary do you use for third persons? Doesn't. Doesn't, right? Does no? No, right? So you say doesn't. Doesn't. The next one, we have my friends, plural. Don't. My don't. friends don't. don't. Don't eat lunch together. My friends don't eat lunch together. What about the next one? Julio and Pedro. Two people, plural. Don't write. Don't write. Don't write, don't write don't right? Because write. don't write is not possible. Don't write. My sister. He, she, I, we. What is it? That's not how. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. It's she, right? It's she. My father and I. ¿Qué sujeto es ese? Don't play. Don't play. We. 
It's we, we right? My father and I. It's we. Don't play soccer on weekdays. 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 Right? And there you have it. You click on send and you have another sentence correct. Right? And the final exercise that you have for this uh, section is this one. This one was a <clears throat> about the correct verb, right? The correct verb according to the correct subject and adverb of frequency. So you say, my mother always, lo que les acabo de explicar, que aun cuando el sujeto sea tercera persona, y estemos ocupando un adverb of frequency como always en este caso, el verbo siempre va a ir de acuerdo con el sujeto. So in this case, you say, my mother always cooks for me. Cooks for me. My friend Irene. Doesn't drink, doesn't drink chocolate. chocolate, right? Because it's she. Chocolate, chocolate. It's not chocolate, it's chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. yes, exactly like that. How much do you want? Do you, you want? want? How much do you want? How much chocolate do you want? How much chocolate do you want? I want a lot, you say. I going out on Fridays. I like. I like going out on Fridays. Okay, I used to like because now you cannot do it, right? Le gustaba. <laughs> oh, <you> know. <laughs> another time. Yeah, in another and in other times you used to like, right? Hoy tienen una cita con inglés corporativo. My sister's friends don't eat, don't eat meat. Don't eat meat, right? Because they are the friends of my sister, right? Aquí no se dejen engañar porque my sister no es el sujeto principal estamos hablando de los amigos de mi hermana right my sister's friends my sister's friends don't eat meat right and there you go that was the first section of the platform right creo que todos ustedes ya la tienen completa así que no problem o sea, no problem and in section number two here load it okay cuando mi internet se digne a moverse. There you go. <laughs> Number two. And you're going to say, teacher, why do I have the same video? ¿Por qué tenemos el mismo video? Este es el video que está como de relleno y se va, eh, se va sustituyendo con las videoconferencias. In part number two, you are going to talk about eh, adverse of frequency as well. Right? How seldom, how often, how many? Right? Do you go to the dentist? Para preguntar frecuencia. ¿Qué ocupamos para preguntar frecuencia? How often? How often, right? We use how often. She takes a shower. She always. She always. She always. always. ¿Por qué no ponemos every day ahí? Porque diría que hace siempre. Porque, ajá, no, no, no. Because every day can be at the beginning or at the end. La frase es como every day pueden ir al principio o al final de la oración. No pueden ir en medio. No decimos she every day takes a shower because that would be incorrect. She takes a shower every day or every day she takes a shower. That would be correct. Always in this case. Después del sujeto va el adverb of frequency y el verbo. Okay. You have it. My doctor doesn't usually. usually. My doctor doesn't usually smoke, right? Because uh, it does. He doesn't do it. I on time. So you say I always am. I don't am. I am always on time. I'm always. I am always on time. How often do you go to the beach? I go to the beach. I love it. What will be I the case? Usually. In this? I usually go to the beach. ¿Por qué? Porque never y rarely 
son negativos. Si decimos, I never go to the beach. I love it. Yo nunca voy a la playa. La amo. It's not logical, right? Or I rarely go to the beach. Yo casi nunca voy a la playa. La amo. Come on. It's like, it's like my sister in front of my mother, right? Only in pictures, sí. <laughs> only in pictures. Me, I go to the beach only once a year. Yo voy una vez al año. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> So that is section number two. So in section number two, you are going to continue working with adverbs of frequency. In this one, you have to uh, organize the commands. We are going to advance on this one, so you can advance as well. Así es lo más que puedan avanzar mucho mejor. The personnel, ¿qué hace? Por ejemplo, aquí veamos quiénes son auditores o de calidad aquí. ¿Quiénes trabajan en auditoría o calidad? ¿Johnny's? ¿Quién más? Diego. Ah, only Johnny's. Master Diego. Pedro. Ah, en Diego. Dieguito, where are you? Ah, ya lo vi, ahí está, levantando su manita. What do you do with the personnel? Supervisor. You supervise. You supervise the personnel. No puedes send the personnel. Hey. <laughs> Check the personnel. Yes, but in the in the work you supervise. Okay, check the personal list. Like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like the monkey, right, of the TikTok. <laughs> check it. <laughs> it's not possible, right? The potential customers. Call the potential. You can call the potential customer. You can check the potential customers. Let's leave it on call. Ya vamos a revisar. Memos to the office personnel. Send. 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 Exactly. You send memos, right? Memorandum. And then you have it. The report. Check. Check, check, check the, the, report, the report, right? Report. Check the report. A letter. Use blue ink. Right. 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 You write a letter and you use blue ink. Ink, right? In this case, with the potential customers, like usted le habla a los clientes, you call the potential customers, right? You cannot check the potential customers, porque imagínese el, el cliente ¿verdad? que está pensando en comprarle a usted. Buenas, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? ¿Qué ando haciendo? Ah, ¿por qué no ha venido? ¿Por qué no nos ha llamado? Aquí tengo el producto, venga a verlo. <laughs> he's like, okay, no, <laughs> and he's going to leave, right? Acosador. <laughs> Y va a huir. Ya no le compró nada. Me afligió. <laughs> okay. So, you call the potential customer. Good morning. How are you? This is Natia. I was just checking about the different products we talked about last week. Blah, blah, blah. So, you connect with the customer. Okay. The next one that we have on this section. So, you say, my father... Go shopping. She doesn't have red shoes. My mother has to has to go shopping. Right? Ella tiene que ir de compras. Or needs to go shopping. Necesita o tiene que ir de compras. Has to. Tiene que ir. She has to go shopping. She doesn't have red shoes. Okay. I will leave it there. <laughs> Okay. She needs to go shopping. She doesn't have red shoes. Necesita ir de compras. ¿Por qué? No tiene zapatos rojos. Okay. We will check. Ya lo vamos a revisar. Study for the English exam to get my American scholarship. Have to. Okay. I have to study because there is a must, right? It's like you have to study, people. You don't uh, get up early if you don't want. Do have to. You don't have to get up early if you don't want. Let's see. They eat right now. I am starving. <laughs> they need to. They need to eat right now. I am starving. We prepare a document for my boss. We have to prepare a document for my boss. Uh huh. Any other one? Any other opinion? We have to. Hablo en ahora o callen para siempre. Ay, <laughs> was okay. Ya dijo la frase. We, we have to. We have to. Ya dijo la frase. Y yo aquí perdiendo el tiempo. My mother. Oh. 
needs to go shopping. Hey, I have a lot of Shrek fans here. I can see. Yeah, we love fans the Shrek. Okay. My mother needs to go shopping. Needs to eh, significa que hay una necesidad de hacer algo por otras razones, right? She doesn't have red shoes, right? I have to study. There is no option. I have to do it, right? And it says, you don't have to get up early if you don't want. No tenés que levantarte temprano si no querés, right? They need to eat right now. I am starving. It's like, necesito comer. Yo me estoy muriendo de hambre, right? I am starving. Starving significa muriendo de hambre. Realmente hambriento. Okay? I am starving, you can say. Ya son las 11.50 y están almorzado. I'm starving. We have to prepare a document for my boss. It is for the boss. There is no option. You have to do it. Right? I have to prepare it. So that is about the comments. And the next one, in section number one, so you say, I have to, or I need to pay the university uh, matricule, okay, what is that? Uh, for a study this semester. It is subscription I or something. To. I have to, if not, there is no option, right? Go to the immigration center to get their passport. Me too. They need to go, right? She lose 20 pounds to wear her dress in the wedding. She, Ay, has, que to. <laughs> she has to lose 20 pounds, right? She has to. There is no option. My best friend. Needs to relax. Needs to relax so. before the exam, right? I see you as soon as possible. I need to, I need to see you. I need to see you as soon as possible. Let's see. There you go. I need to see you as soon as possible. It's like así, más tarde que ayer, right? I need to see you as soon as possible. You need to relax, people. I mean, chill a little bit. Chillax, because it's like, no, you are too excited. You have to lose 20 pounds, right? Si no pierde 20 libras, bye-bye. The dress is not going to fit. They need to go to the immigration center to get the passport. And I have to pay the university, right? There is no other option. And the final activity for section number two, and it says, Luis Parrilla, can you help me with number one? Hola. <laughs> Por eso no me enamoro yo, miren. Ya ven. <laughs> Can you help me with number one? Read the sentence. How often do you drink milk? Uh, I never drink milk. I am allergic to it. I am allergic to it, right? I am allergic to it. It's like, <laughs> if you drink milk, you die. Number two, Jorge Antonio. Is, uh, I, uh -huh. Please. Right. Right. That memo today. Very good. Number three. Dennis Gerardo. I don't serve this. Number three. <laughs> y no es al puro, que no es molestia. I was just the sentence. I have, I have to wear glasses to read my English book. <laughs> I have to wear glasses to read my English book. Si no me pongo los lentes, I cannot read it, right? I have to wear glasses to read my English book. It was just the exercise, okay? No lo agarré por, por molestar. <laughs> Number four. Carla Patricia. Be careful. There is water on the floor. On the floor. On the floor. Okay. Oh. On the floor is arena, right? On the floor. Floor. Be careful. There is water on the floor. Number five. I am going to ask uh, Mr. Edwin Ernesto.
is a uh, usually okay marta usually visits her mom because she lives far away from her vive lejos de donde ella rarely aha uh -huh. rarely marta rarely. rarely visits her mom right she lives very far from her right so after this one you see there was section number two and what you are going to be working on because we are going to check on next week la que vamos a revisar el próximo viernes obviamente vamos a revisar todas las demás but you have the midterm exams the midterm exams are just a practice of the other sections right sections one and two and it is just a practice we have four different tests and they are basically exercises that we did before, okay? Así que si ya avanzaron la sección 1 y 2, terminen los midterm para que los podamos revisar en las clases de la siguiente semana, okay? Tapichi. Okay, teacher. Okay, good, very good. You can do it, I know. This, these are uh, exercises that we already did. Son ejercicios que ya hicimos de la sección 1 y 2 para que ustedes puedan hacer su review, okay? Well, so I am going to call the attendance for us to go to the topic of the day, okay? Para que podamos irnos al tema del día. Let me see. <clears throat> hey, Edward Mauricio is not here today. Let's go with Cristian Eduardo Rodriguez. Presente. Thank you very much. Denis Gerardo. Denis Gerardo Vázquez. Perdí a Denis. Ah, anda vagando, miren, ya ven. Diego José. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no escuché bien. Es que mi mamá está licuando. <laughs> ok, ok. Que no guarde frijolito. Edwin Ernesto. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Johnny Vladimir. Johnny Vladimir. Hey, I'm Mr. Johnny. No present. Hey, no, hombre, se aquí está. ¿Qué se hizo? Lo hemos perdido. Okay. Jorge Antonio. Presente. Thank you. Karen Lisset Blanco. Carla Patricia Morales. Presente. Catherine Rosibel. Entonces me fueron de parranda. Luis Humberto. Presente. Norma Yamilet. Teacher. Yes. ¿Qué dice que la Katy dijo que estaba enferma, dijo que tenía calentura y estaba muy, mucho más mal de la tos. Así okay. que por no se presentó. Le vamos a poner un comentario. Okay. So let's continue. Thank you very much, Victor. Eh, Ronda Ulises. Present. Thank you. Victor Manuel. Present. Walter Enrique. Walter. Wendy Beatriz. <clears throat> okay, Walter. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. And Janira. Presente. Thank you. So, Catherine, Karen Blanco is not here. And Mr. Edwin Comayagua. What about Mr. Comayagua? Did you see him? Edwin yeah. Comayagua le salió una emergencia familiar. Oh. Por eso no Debo estar hoy conectado. Ok. ¿Ya? Eh, ya regresé, me había desconectado. <ríe> sí, sí, no tenga pena. Ahí la, ahí la vi que, que estaba conectando de vuelta. Thank you very much. Thank you, Normita, for letting me know. Ok, 
So my dear class, thank you for uh, the attendance. Thank you for answering the attendance. And we're going to start today with uh, today's class. So yesterday we were working on the quantifiers, right? That was the part that we were working on today. But uh, today we are going to work a little bit on uh, adverbs of frequency. We're going to work on adverbs of frequency. So <clears throat> let's start. Let me, okay. Let me share my screen. There we go. So I have the phrase of the day. I have the phrase for today. And I have one sponsored by Mr. Walt Disney. In this case, I am going to ask, let me see. I am going to ask Janita to help me to read it. Uh, our dream can come true if we have the courage to courage to pursue them. Pursue, yeah, pursue them. Pursue them. All, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. What is the meaning of the phrase for today? Que todos los sueños son, se pueden hacer realidad. Um, si tenemos que. El coraje. Ajá. ¿De qué? Para perseguirlo. ¿no? De perseguirlo. De perseguirlo, right? All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them, right? It is not impossible. The only thing that we need to do is to look for them. Because imagine if you say, I, I dream about having my car, but you never save money to, do, to buy it, right? Nunca guardamos dinero, nunca ahorramos, nunca hacemos esa hora extra que nos puede dar unos dineritos más. So you say like, I <laughs> So the dream is there. So all the dreams are possible if you have the courage to pursue them. And in this one, I can give you one example. I was like 14 years old, right? Tenía como 14, 15 años más o menos. And I wanted to go to a concert, right? Yo quería ir a un concierto de Ricardo Arjona. And my mother said, if you want to go to the concert, get the money. And I said, okay, I am going to get the money, I said. And I started a Choco Bananos business in my house like five months before the concert, because my house was near a school, right? Mi casa quedaba cerca de un colegio. And I said, hmm, <laughs> business, our business, I said. Entonces empecé un negocio de choco banana. And I went to the concert. <laughs> so all the dreams are possible if you have the courage to pursue them. ¿Y saben cuál era mi, mi, mi debilidad? Que me daba como, como pena vender. Y era así como, choco, choco, quiere choco. <laughs> It was like, hay choco banana. <laughs> so, but then I put a, a, a sign outside the house and then I went to the school and I put another sign. So, and, and all the kids were there outside my house at the end of the classes. That was beautiful, difficult, but beautiful, right? And I remember in the house, my mother used to say like, hey, dame un choco banana. And I said like, 50 centavos. <laughs> I used to sell them to the people in my house as well. <laughs> business are business, I said. I had I had a dream and I went for it. And it was beautiful. I enjoyed the concert. So if you have a dream, pursue it. Do any of you have a dream that you want to accomplish? ¿Quién de ustedes? ¿Alguno de ustedes tiene un sueño que quiere perseguir, que quiere alcanzar? ¿Cuál es? A ver, cuéntenme. Al final del módulo me lo van a contar en inglés. Trabajar en un call center. Trabajar en un call center. Ok. Sí, puede ser. Ok, puede ser era, un sueño. Muy era bien. un concierto de Adele. Era un concierto de Adele. Ok, me too. <risa> Another dream that you have. Otro sueño que tengan que ustedes dicen, yo quiero eso. Quiero tal cosa. Tener una casa. Yo no ¿Ah? tengo visa, pero quiero ir a Estados Unidos. 
Pero ok. No, cruzar, no quiero cruzar el río. No, for sure. De una forma tengo que ir. No, <laughs> in the correct way. So you have to do it in the legal way. Okay, in the correct way. Do your exam, get your visa. Okay, Wendy, what is your dream? Igual que Edwin. Y también tener una casa. Okay, so you see, that's a good, a better job. You can get a house. Good. Dennis, what was your other dream? ¿Cuál era? Me? Ajá. Además del concierto, yeah. me mencionó otro. The lingua. Oh, to be bilingual. You can do it, you see? You are on the process. You are on the process. Any other one? Christian, what is your dream? Igual, aprender a hablar inglés al 100%. Okay, to be bilingual 100%. Fantastic. I can help you with that. That's good. Mr. Jorge Antonio. My dream is uh, to speak English. To speak English, yay! So I am, I am very glad to be part of your dream. Yeah, me alegra ser parte de su sueño. Mr. Randall? Aprender tres idiomas más. Hey, good! You know, I started my French classes today. Francés e italiano. E yeah, italiano. That's very good. Hoy retomé mis clases de francés, así que... You can do it as well. Very good. Very good job. Carla Patricia, what is your dream? Um, hablar perfectamente el inglés y, y poder conseguir un mejor trabajo. Okay, to speak better English. You know, in the, in the job that you have, if you speak English, you can have better opportunities, even in the same company. En la misma compañía que ustedes están, solo el hecho de hablar inglés les abre otras oportunidades. Yeah, quality managers supervisors, different things, right? Just to know English, right? So it is an international company. You can grow there and that is fantastic, okay? So identify your dream and work for it. If you say, teacher, I want to be bilingual. Ay, pero que voy a hablar inglés, teacher, mejor en español. No, in English, try, practice, right? Do it every day, practice a lot. It is going to help you on your dream. Jorge says that he wants to be bilingual. Watch videos, watch movies, practice, listen to music, right? Do everything possible in order to learn. Investigate grammar, get vocabulary, read books, right? Those are many things that you can do to reach your dreams. And Ronald, get books in English, in French, and in German. <laughs> so, so for you to practice, right? That is, a, that is a very beautiful dream. Very good job. So let's start by a little survey. We're going to do a little survey. Okay. How healthy are you? And you are going to answer this individually. Veamos. Esto lo van a contestar individualmente. Write down your answers. Number one, two, three, and four. And write your answers. Write your answer for number one. How often do you cook? ¿Qué tan seguido cocinan? How often do you go jogging? When you go running and exercising. How often do you watch TV? And how often do you go to the gym? Answer your questions. Answer your questions. Hardly ever, sometimes, often, or every day. Never, rarely, sometimes, often. Number three, every day, often, sometimes, never. And do you go to the gym? Never, rarely, sometimes, or often. Write down your answers. <coughs> uy, uy, don't die, don't die. No se nos muera, no se nos muera. Nos faltan dos idiomas todavía. <laughs> Please don't do it. Please, no. Teacher. Ya. Yeah? Luego del número 3, va el 6. Yes, I think it was a mistake. Sorry. <laughs> it was my mistake. Yo creo que estaba ahí un poco hambrienta. Me comí los otros números. Así estoy yo. <laughs> 
sorry. Es que lo hice medio día. Maybe I was hungry. How often do you cook? Sorry. This is, yes? And jogging? Jogging. When you go exercising, when you go running. Cuando vas a trotar, cuando vas a correr. Oh, thank you. It's like, ah, no. <laughs> Solo para alcanzar el <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is, it is yes. Um, jogging, dice que es correr. Y room? Or room? Okay. No, no, no. Jogging es trotar. Trotar. Ah, trotar. Es así como corridito, así suavecito. Run is like, ah. Run. <laughs> okay. Yeah, run. Run es cuando te levantaste 5 a las 7 y entras a las 7. <laughs> that is run. Jogging is like when, when you go just like walking in a normal speed. This is number four. Yeah. Uh, how do you say hardly ever in Spanish? Hardly ever, casi nunca. Hardly ever. So it's been now it's very 45. Hardly ever means casi nunca. Hardly ever. In the case of Janira says, like, if, if you see Janira running, run. Si ven a Janira correr allá en la planta, corran todos. Because something is happening. That's prohibido. <laughs> yeah. Es cierto, no se puede correr. Doy tres pasos y me ahogo. <laughs> no, por eso, si la ven correr, corran porque algo está pasando. It is not normal. So, tell me. And I am going to stop sharing. So you can see all the cameras, okay? Voy a dejar de compartir para poder ver todas las cámaras. Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you cook every day. If you cook every day. Only Christian. Hey, and Norma. And Ronald is like... Okay, and Dennis, you cook every day. Raise your hand if you often cook. Often. And often, right? It's like, no, nah, never. Luis, often. Raise your hand if you sometimes cook. Yeah, sometimes. That would be me. <laughs> sometimes. Raise your hand if. You hardly ever cook. Si casi nunca cocina. Raise your hand if you hardly ever cook. No? Cocina de sobrevivencia, Yanira. Yeah. <laughs> hardly buy ever. Your food. Yeah, you buy your own food, right? Good. <laughs> surviving, surviving skills. How often do you go jogging? Never? Never? Hardly ever? Rarely, sometimes, often. <laughs> it's like, I often, often. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Me voy a creer que van often running. Let's see. Let's go to the next one. How often do you watch TV? Raise your hand if you never watch TV. ¿A quién se le fue la señal? Hola. Hola. Denis, ¿a quién se le fue la señal? A usted. No, a él. Sí, sí yo pensé que era mi inter, pero no, usted como que se le está cortando, todo distorsionado, se escucha así. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Pues yo pensé que era mi internet, pero no. No, otra igual, yo pensé que era mi internet. No, yo oigo una segunda voz, pero no es la mía. 
en la pantalla aparece como, como que se traba, Tiche, no sé. No sé si solo a mí me aparece así. Cuando se está hablando. No, pero está bien, pero sí, por ratos se, se distorsiona. No, yo creo que no, no sé. Se escuche distorsionado el señor sonido. <risa> yeah, Mr. Sound. Yeah, maybe it's because of my friends from Tigo, right? Vamos a poner una demanda al internet. Ahora está probando. Señal divina. Ya, yeah, señal divina, que no están robando el internet. De Tigo no estén hablando. <risa> De mis amigos del internet no van a estar hablando. Okay. Tell me, do you, how often do you watch TV, people? How often do you watch TV? All the time? Sometimes? Never? Sometimes. Sometimes. Never, never, never. Never, never, never. never. Oh my God. Never. Oh wow. No. It's an old school. Oh my goodness. How often do you watch, how often do you go to the gym? Never. <laughs> Never. 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 And you are going to say, teacher, de siete a nueve iba al gimnasio, you will say. A las siete iba al gimnasio, teacher, ¿va a creer? Justo a las siete entraba al gimnasio, teacher, pero ya no. I cannot go to the gym. <laughs> I cannot go to the gym anymore, you say. Okay. I love the nutrition. <laughs> okay, let's continue here. Mr. Christian, thank you very much. Let's go here. Here, we are talking about the adverbs of frequency, right? In the adverbs of frequency, we have these different words that we use to express how often we do something. Es la frecuencia con la que hacemos ciertas cosas, right? Always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, and never. You have from 100, that is always, to zero, that is never, right? So there you have, you have from 100, top, to zero. The first example with always. Can you help me to read it? Me pueden ayudar a leer el primero con always? Uh, always had breakfast at 8 a.m. I always have breakfast at 8 a.m., right? I always have breakfast at 8 a.m. Every single day, right? I always. If you can see here, si se fijan, la estructura de los adverbs of frequencies es el sujeto, the adverb of frequency, the verb, and the complement, right? I usually take a shower at 6 a.m. I usually, it's like, it happens almost every day, right? Casi el 100% de los días sucede. I usually take a shower at 6 a.m. A veces a las 5.30, a veces a las 6 y media, but you usually take a shower at six in the morning. What about the next one? Normally. Can you help me to read the sentence with normally? I normally go to work at 8 a.m. I normally go to work at 8 a.m., right? Number, the next one, often. I often eat chicken at lunch. I often eat chicken at lunch, right? It happens that Almost every day you eat the same, right? A veces pollo dorado, a veces pollo frito, a veces pollo guisado, a veces pollo con pollo. But you always eat chicken for lunch. I sometimes buy lunch at work. I sometimes buy lunch at work. Occasionally. What is the sentence with occasionally? Occasionally. I occasionally go to the gym. I occasionally go to the gym, right? It happens, right? I occasionally go to the gym. I seldom go to the beach. From time to time, one time a year, the teacher. So sad. De la teacher no van a estar hablando. 
I seldom go to the beach. I, I hardly can't. ever sleep early. Yeah. De la teacher tampoco van a estar hablando. I hardly ever sleep early. Never, right? And I never eat fish. fish. Tell me what is one thing that you never eat? Send it to the chat. Mándemelo al chat. I never eat what? Mándemelo al chat. The Zoom or the WhatsApp? The WhatsApp, the Zoom. It's okay. Dice, sí, yo ni le envió un, un mensaje acá en la plataforma. Uh, no sé. let me see. Okay. Poor Johnny. But he is here, right? Por aquí se conecta, se desconecta. Okay, good, 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 good. I never eat money. <laughs> peanuts, you say, peanuts. Peanuts are money. I never eat onion. I never eat Chinese food. Why? Chinese food. I never eat onion, they say. I never eat karao. I never eat money. I never carne, eat... Como, teacher, how carne. do you say it? carne? Carne Meat. de vaca, carne. Meat. Or beef. Well, beef is carne de res. You never eat cream. Oysters. Okay. Beet. Remolacha. Luis Parrilla, you don't like the beet. No te gusta la remolacha. I don't like. It's so delicious. Mm. <laughs> ¿Tiene ensalada rusa? No. I see. Ah. Come on. <laughs> it's, you are like my brother. You are like my brother. Exactly. <laughs> my brother says, Ush, onion. Ugh, I don't like it. But he eats chimol. And chimol has a lot of onion. He loves Mexican food. And he has, and it has onion. But, it's different. No, but in the beans, huh? Una micro cebolla en los frijoles. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, 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 it's exactly like Luis. Mm, ensalada rusa. Mm. Ramolacha. <laughs> okay. Liver. Okay, I never eat liver. Yeah, I, I don't like liver. I like it, but bien poquito. And totally fried. I mean, tiene que estar sumamente bien, casi dorado, tostado, el hígado. Meat, okay, Chinese food. Who doesn't like Chinese food? Dennis, why? ¿Quién te hizo daño, Dennis? ¿Por qué? Yo me pregunté. Dennis, why? Why Chinese food? No, teacher, en el sentido de la comida propia de allá, como ah. los, los granes y esas ah. cosas. Oh, ok, exotic food, that is exotic food. Ah, no, la cuca. No, guacana, no, exotic food. Una okay. sopa de... No, and they do, they like to eat very crazy things. Uh, I, I had a friend from Thailand that likes to eat codornices. Eh, but they are so terrible. They are like little doves. Son como palomas pequeñitas. It's so horrible. And she said like, try Nati, try it. And I was like, mm -hmm, I don't like it. I never eat ceviche. Well, yeah, I only eat fish ceviche. Because of coronavirus. <laughs> I never eat cooked vegetables, Victor Manuel. You don't like them? And how do you eat the vegetables? Raw. ¿Cómo te lo comes, crudo? No, cocido en una una. Solo la cebolla, solo la de zanahoria nomás me lo como. Los otros no. Okay. ¿Y en una sopa de gallina? Ah, solo la sopa, pero me sale el de vapor. Like, like Luis Parrilla, right? In the sopa, sí. Because of coronavirus, what? 
What? Because of coronavirus. I never eat <laughs> pata soup. <laughs> I never eat pata soup, says Edwin Gallego. Why, Edwin? Sopa I don't, I don't like pata. it. I don't like Sopa it. De pata. I don't like the smell. It smells yes. horrible. I don't <laughs> like it. No. I never eat eggplant. Christian, you don't like berenjena. Why? It's horrible. <laughs> no sabía nada. No. I never eat white beans, say Johnny's. Johnny said that he never eats white beans. You never eat beef. Edwin, tampoco comes carne. No. Okay. Are you vegetarian or you just don't like it? More or less vegetarian. Okay. More, a, a little vegetarian. Walter, why not the cream? Walter, ¿qué te hizo la crema? ¿Por qué no te la come? Ah, se, se fue a esconder porque no tiene crema. No, aquí estoy, es que. <risa> eh, no sé qué. No sé, nunca la he comido. O sea, sí la he comido, pero no me gusta. Ok, I never ear, eat pork fry, it says. Fried pork, it is fried pork. Cerdo, pito. Eh, fritada de cerdo. Oh, okay. Oh, frit <laughs> fritada. Ah. Fried pork, okay. Eh, chicharrones? You don't like chicharrones either. La fritada es diferente. <laughs> es, es, es lo mismo, pero es igual que so you say, I never eat duck. Yeah, no, yo tampoco, Wendy, tampoco he comido pato nunca. No, no puedo. Never, never. Yeah. I never swim on the beach. Dennis, oh. why? Hay tiburones. No. Se imagina que salga un gran monstruo ahí, yo ahí, inocente, indefenso. Tanda, no, hombre. No, no, no. Tan chido que es que te revuelque el mar. Y levantarte ahí con medio short. Voy a llevar a la playa a dar un paseo en lancha. Oh, yes. And to swim in the middle of the ocean. And then it's... Ah! No, that would be terrible. I never eat garro. It says, please, people, don't eat the national animals. Please, no iguanas, no garro, no, I mean, no. Flor de sote, please, no, don't eat the flor de sote. It's, <laughs> it's a national symbol, people. You don't eat the torogoses, right? Huh? <laughs> no, don't eat maquilisguas or anything like that. So don't eat the garrobos as well. So you say, I never eat garrobo. Tell me something that you always eat. Now I will change. Send me something that you always eat. That you say, ah, no, teacher, I love it. I can eat it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, anything. What is something that you eat all the time, that it's so delicious for you that you can eat it forever? Ah, let's see. I love pupusas, I love it. <laughs> but I, ha I have never gone to US, says Carla Patricia. I have never gone. Yeah, it is very beautiful, I can say. Es una lindura total. I have never gone to USA. Hmm. Okay, so I always eat chicken, says Dennis. I always eat red beans. Very good, Johnny's. Me too. Edwin Ernesto, beans and cheese pupusas. I am team pupusas, says Diego. Diego Jose is the team pupusas. Mixed pupusas or beans pupusas? Revueltas son mejores. I can say that. Edwin. Ah, pero Edwin no come carne. Todo lleva frijoles. 
Yeah, Solo de frijoles y, y, y de queso con loroco. Oh my God. I always eat chicken, they say. I am team pupusas, me too, yeah, pupusas team. La pregunta correcta sería de maíz o de arroz. <laughs> well, I can say that the corn pupusas are better. Corn pupusas are better. They are more delicious. Because rice pupusas are dense and, and it's like kind of heavy, right? Son muy densas a veces. Las de arroz. No han probado las mías, but eh? <laughs> I can cook pupusas very well. Sí. Quiere decir que la invitación está hecha. Sí. Tres por un dólar. Sí. <laughs> At 10 p.m. When I, when I finish the class, I go to sell pupusas. Quiere sacar para el concierto de Abel. Yeah, definitely. We never know. Yeah. I am an entrepreneur. Yo soy un emprendedor total. I, I can sell anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can sell everything. Mi papi me dice, vos podrías vender las piedras y los colores aparte. <laughs> I am very good. Exactly. <laughs> Mi padre dice que no, yo no vendería piedras pintadas, sino que te vendría la piedra y los colores aparte. <laughs> yeah, I am very good at that. So you see, I am good at that. Uh huh. Anyway, I love fish. I always eat beans. They are delicious, definitely. I always eat beans and eggs. Beans and eggs are the Salvadorian diet. I mean, beans and eggs. We always have it. And cream and bananas. They are like the. I always eat beans with cheese. They are the best. Very good, Jorge Antonio. Jorge Antonio is the beans team. It is very curious that in El Salvador. You can lack anything. Te puede faltar de todo, menos lo primero. Hoy falta. Está muy caro. Yeah, and the cheese. You can lack the cheese. So, tell me something. Tell me something that you sometimes do in Christmas. Something that you sometimes do in Christmas. Pavo. Pavo, turkey. So you say, I sometimes, and what was the indication? Tell me something that you sometimes do on Christmas. Tell me something. I didn't say write something. I said, tell me something. Tell me something. I want to listen. I sometimes dance on Christmas. I dance all the time. I sometimes sometime eat tamales i sometimes eat tamales very good more nanny i always bread with chicken please i always eat bread with chicken yes something that you sometimes do on christmas uh-huh Luis Parrilla, what is something that you sometimes do on Christmas? <laughs> Stuff bread. Stuff bread. I am going to send it here. I am going to send it to you. Stuff bread. Stuff bread is a pan relleno, right? Okay. You can stuff a bread with anything, with beans, with cheese, with chicken, with anything. You eat stuffed bread. And let me see. Well, we have a couple of good examples. I have here other sentences, right? And the adverbs of frequency with the same uh, percentages, right? Thank you for the ones that are sending me. I sometimes eat stuffed bread. Very good job, Luis. So I have always, I have examples here. I always watch TV at night. She almost always eats breakfast. Mike usually gets up late. I often exercise in the morning. They sometimes go to Starbucks. I never go to Starbucks. I seldom see him. Apenas lo veo. I rarely see him. I hardly ever see him. We never come to class late. Yes, 
my class, my all students are always on time. We never come to class late. So that's something good that they do. I sometimes drink, drink soda, says Victor Manuel. Sometimes, only sometimes. So we have more examples. New adverbs of frequency that we have here, it's almost always, right? We have almost always, that is new. And I think the other ones are the same, right? Casi siempre, almost always. And here we have a couple of examples. And for these ones, we are going to use the most appropriate adverb of frequency, right? Let me send it to you so you can see it better. Se los voy a enviar para que lo podamos ver mejor. And we are going to work on this in couples. Vamos a trabajar en parejas en esto. I am going to send you with your couple in a second. No. And it says here. Okay, here we go. Mm. Okay, I sent it to your chat already. chat. And you can work on your notebook, okay? Lo pueden trabajar en su cuaderno. Del 1 al 12, y ahí lo pueden trabajar en su cuaderno. So you don't have to, to work on the picture. I am not going to put the picture on the screen, okay? No lo voy a poner en pantalla. Don't worry. But you are going to work together. Lo pueden mandar a trabajar juntos. And you are going to work in groups of two or three. Okay, yeah, groups of three and two. Let me just move a little bit here and I will move this one here. Okay, so there you go. Accept my invitation to go to the groups and complete the sentences with the best advert of frequency that you consider for the sentence. Accept my invitation. Fantastic. Okay. Well, I will let students set up in the groups. And I will go and check what they are doing. Okay, let's go and check on the groups how they are doing with the exercises. Cheers. Era. Aha. Is was or was or was? Which one? Number two is uh, was or was. Oh, is was or was. No sé cómo pronuncia. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> ah, la copia. Okay, okay, okay. I, I had it ready for. <laughs> es, es <clincho. laughs> <laughs> Lo tenía listo para cuando volviéramos a trabajar. I was late for work only one time last year. I was late for work. Solo llegué tarde ah. a trabajar una vez el año pasado. I was late for work only one time last year. I am late. Si solo falté una vez y una vez llegué a trabajar tarde nada más. So you say, I am late. I am what? The adverb of frequency. ¿Cuál sería? Si solo fue una vez la que llegué tarde el año pasado. Rarely. 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 Yeah, you saw my rarely, screen. Rarely. Okay. <laughs> Ay, mi lengua. 
Rarely. 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 I am rarely late. Or you say, I am almost never. Diego, ya notaste. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Come on, come on. Yo soy el secretario ahora. Don't tell, don't tell your friends, ¿ok? No le vayan a decir a sus amigos que les di el pantallazo ahí de la respuesta. Oh, my God. No, no, aquí no ha pasado nada, teacher. No. The screenshot, the screenshot, the screenshot. Thank you so much. So you say, I was late. Solo llegué tarde una vez al trabajo el, el año pasado, right? That it was, sí, it was in this case. Sí, I, am, I am very punctual. Okay, <clears throat> so that's it. Continue with the other ones, people, because you are in number two. And they are 12. Son 12. Hurry up. Mm. I will yeah. get Una sola prueba en la escuela. Uh -huh. Eso es... Mary failed only one test in high school. Only one test on all the year. Teacher, in la in la segunda estábamos hablando de si porque dice va. Una vez llegué tarde al trabajo, al año, algo así. Never Pero ya la respuesta le podemos poner never, nunca llego tarde. Uh, it can be eh, never, sería que nunca pasó, que nunca falló. Pero si falló una vez, se so dice almost never, rarely. Uh -huh. right? Porque si decimos never, es que todo el año llegó a tiempo. Casi nunca, casi nunca. Ah, you can say casi, casi nunca. nunca you can say, for example, hardly ever or rarely, almost never. Right? I am almost <coughs> never late. So you can use it like that. You can use any of these ones. No podemos ocupar never en este caso porque pasó una vez. Si uh -huh. man manchó el historial. Ya no lo ganamos el el, yeah, el bono, ¿no? No, ya no hay bono. <laughs> so, it says, sí, Mary, para... Mary failed only one test in high school. She... Oh, boy. And in this case, you say oh, she... My. Passed her test. Mm. If it es is not... Otra pregunta. Uh -huh. Al... Cuando terminemos... Solo uno lo va a presentar o... No, you are going to give me the answers, oh, ¿ok? Ahí cada grupo, le voy a pedir al grupo uno que me dé tales respuestas, el grupo dos me va a dar otras, el grupo tres otras. ¿Ok? Ah, Te voy okay. a dar unos números ahí para que trabajen. So, in this one, Mary failed one test, ¿ok? No los paso todos perfectos, no puede ser always. Mary failed only one test. She... Oh. Almost what? Oh, okay. Almost <laughs> always, exactly. Almost always. Very good. So, I always remember to do my homework. I always oh. remember. No. I never. Very good. So, you get the idea. Muy bien. Se llaman encaminados. Let's continue with the other ones. I will go to another group. Bye bye. Bye bye. Or rarely, 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 Don't 
Por primera, por primera vez en tres okay. años. First time por primera vez en tres años, dice. O sea, que uh -huh. ella va, no va a ser. O sea, ella dice, casi nunca sería. Casi nunca. Nunca. Ella ella casi sería... nunca. Porque en Net. tres años cuesta. Entonces no, no. significa revisión. Va. Entonces Never. sería Hellier. Hellier. Ajá, ese sería. Porque si no nos van a tachar ahí todo. Hey, es no, 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 está bueno, está bueno que nos tache porque así aprendemos. Ay, ¿no? está enferma, entonces. I can see. Ah, oh, people, I found the problem. ¿Se acuerdan que me dijeron que mi internet estaba feo? Sí. Y ese me había pegado al internet del teléfono. La, la, la laptop se me había pegado a la red del teléfono. Y yo, what's going on? Okay, good, good, good. But now I am in my Wi-Fi, in my house. So there's no problem. Okay, so did you finish? How many are you missing? No. Le no. no. Ay, my God. Continue. La siete, vamos. Okay, Ahora continue. Sí. Ya no les quito la chance. Como sí que es de enfermo, va. Sí, sí. es enfermo. Entonces, bien. como es la primera vez en tres años, podríamos poner uno de los tres: Seldon, Early Ever o Never. No, uno de los dos primero. Okay, ah. good. Por uh -huh. sí. which sí. sentence? ¿En cuál van? Número 6. Número 6. Número 6. Judy saw a doctor for the first time in three years. Okay. Yes. Es like la, por un, la primera vez en tres años. Yes. Uh -huh. She. Mm. How, how do you say? Exactly. She hardly ever. Okay. She hardly ever gets sick. Hardly. Hardly ever gets sick. Yeah. Number seven. I hear. Sería, I get up at five o'clock seven days a week. I get up. I get up at ¿O no? Porque pocas veces a la semana. Café. No only sometimes. Hmm? But, but only sometimes. Very good. But only sometimes. Not often. <gasps> Hi, how are you? Hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Está difícil, teacher. No, it's a, it's a matter of analysis. Don't worry. I will give you enough time. You know, I go room by room. Me voy por todas las salas. Y depende del progreso que vayan teniendo, así les voy alargando el tiempo. Ok, ya terminamos. You finish? No, no faltan okay. tres. <laughs> no, no faltan todavía. You see, Dennis. Dennis is always fighting for the time. And he says, like, we finish. And you haven't finished. 
Okay. Y la mitad junto. <laughs> no, come on. I will check number two, don't worry. Sí. Eh, Casi Almost never. Yes. Almost never what? She almost never gets sick. Ah, she almost never gets sick. Oh, you are in number six? Yes. Hey, hurry up, people. Why? <laughs> Why? 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 Technical problems, they say. Why? Problema técnico, está chido. Technical issues of understanding. <laughs> okay. We are about to finish. <laughs> A little bit of both, you say. A little bit of both. Okay, we'll check on the next ones. Hurry up, people. Entonces, Sheldon. Sheldon. ¿Cómo? Sí, Sheldon. S H. Sheldon o Seldon. 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 Sheldon es el que salía en The Big Bang Theory. Seldon. 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 Ajá, Seldon. Seldon se pronuncia. Seldon. S H E L D O M. No, it doesn't say Sheldon. It's Seldon. Seldon. Seldom. As you can see right here, let me see. No, put that one too. There you have. Seldom. 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 Yeah, but it's not seldom. It's seldom. Number 10. Number 10. My sister almost never eats hamburgers and fries. She... Casi nunca come hamburguesa y papas. Y papas fritas. Uh -huh. She sí. eats sí. healthy. Saludable. Exactly. Usualmente. So she usually? usually or she always. Ah, no, because she says almost never. Entonces de vez en cuando sí se las come. So she <laughs> says almost always. Almost. She almost, almost always. Never. Almost no. never. No, so look yeah, at this because it says so yeah, eats usually. healthy. Uh -huh. She usually, she almost yeah. always eats healthy food. Casi siempre come comida saludable. She usually, usually does. Okay, you can use usually there. Very good. Usually. Okay, we're missing like two minutes, people. So please hurry up. Necesitamos como dos minutos nada más. Okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Vamos por la once. A clase dice al menos tres o cuatro días a la semana. Ah, pues sería algo como ocasionalmente. Ocasionalmente, vea. Rara vez, decimos. Occasionally. Habitualmente Occasionally. sería entonces. What number do you have? Uh, number eleven. La once. Sí. I take the bus. Maybe three or four days a week, yeah. Usually, almost always. Sometimes. Sometimes. Do you ever watch action movies? No, never. Usually, usually, exactly. Well, I watched usually. an action movie a few years ago. So I guess I should say. Usually. Usually. Okay. So you are my first group to finish. Son las primeras que terminar. The other groups are still in number seven, eight, nine. Hay algunas que todavía tenemos dudas. Las hemos puesto ahí. Like, like, like which one? ¿Cómo en cuál? Veamos. Um, quiero ver. Como en la... Uh -huh. que number three. Number three. Mary failed one test in high school. She solo falló un examen en, toda la, en todo el bachillerato. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
What do you have? ¿Qué le, qué le pusieron ustedes? Always. Always. Ajá. No puede ser always porque falló una vez. Entonces, un poquito <ríe> menos de always. Ah, ok. Entonces sería como... Almost una... always. Almost always. Ajá. Almost. Casi siempre. Exactly, la edad. Uh -huh. Sería almost always. Almost always, yes. Almost always. And which other did you have questions? Okay, wait, I need to help someone. Hello, hello. Yep. Japanese. Yeah, okay, I, I am going, I am taking people back. A todos me lo llevaba de regreso. Okay, <laughs> let's go back. Good, good, hello. Hello. ¿Cómo se siente con este grupo? <laughs> I feel very glad, very happy. You are very, <laughs> I like it because you are very, you are very hardworking. Me gusta porque son trabajadores. O sea, me gusta, me gusta que se rebuscan. O sea, no es así como que, ay, el ejercicio, teacher. No, you, you do it and you are very, like, very active. I like that, that you are okay. very active. Son ponerle amor a todo lo que uno hace. Exactly like that. I do it. I love it. I love to teach. A mí me gusta mucho. Si ustedes se sienten cómodos conmigo, yo me siento feliz. Así es. And then he's like, yes, yes. I love it. I love it. Very good job. Hey, welcome back to the class. Cameras, cameras, cameras. Okay. Before we start, I need you to get something red. Get something red. Vayan a buscar algo rojo. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Something red. Camisa. <laughs> la camisa no se vale. La camisa no se vale. Teacher, get se something red. Get something red. <laughs> something red. Something red. <laughs> the ketchup. <laughs> get something red. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I need you to get something black. Hey. Something black. <laughs> no, come on. Something black, black, black. La primero negro cuenta. No. Yeah, black, something black. Get something orange. Get something orange. Something orange. <laughs> get something orange. Good, very good. Now, okay, let me see. I need you to get a family member. Get a family member. Okay. Ay, a family Dios, member. I don't know. All to sleep. All, I don't all know. go to sleep. A pet, a cat, no sé, Ay, gato, si perro, lo que sea. I got Ella. one. Oh, I got one. Wow. <laughs> Oh, baby. Yeah, say hello to my class. Hello, class. Hello, class. No, no, no. Good. Un perro, un gato, lo que sea, eh? un family member. That was good. Get something no. blue. My dog. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. What a beautiful cat. Something blue. Oh, my God. I don't have anything blue. I am blue. I have a dish. Something blue. Yeah. I need you to get something pink. Something pink. I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> pink. Pink. What is that, Diego? Ah. Un blue, verás, acabo doño, no. Una bolsa, teacher, una bolsa. Una bolsa del pan. Yo solo mi pan, que tengo rosa. No, pero tiene negro y gris, así que no aplica. Diego, perdón, Diego, que malinterpreté. No aplica, malinterpreté su bolsa plástica. Y no, like, Diego. 
What is that? I... <laughs> Very good job. Very yeah. good job. The last one is going to be something green. Algo verde. Something green. Oh. <laughs> Tengo pantalla. <laughs> Sorry. Something green. Very, hey, you see good. <laughs> banco de Edwin. Verde, verde. ¿Qué es eso? Luis Parrilla, ¿qué es eso? That was so nice. Okay, very eso good viene, job. Alguien sentado ahí en el banco. That was good. That was good. You see, it was a good moment for you to relax, right? Siempre me gusta hacerle algo para que se desestrese. And you will remember that. El sábado y el domingo le puede hacer falta. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Me van a llamar. Yes, yes. Teacher. Teacher, I'm in the dynamic. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Volvamos a su dolor de cabeza. He's like, ay, tan bien que estábamos, teacher. Teníamos que. <laughs> Me quité el sueño, gracias. <laughs> That was good. So you say, <laughs> group number one. Group number one is going to tell me the first three sentences. Group number one was, let me check. Ya les digo quiénes eran el grupo uno. Group number one was, hey, se me borraron los grupos. Hmm. Okay, well, I have 12 sentences. I can give you one each. Puedo dar una cada uno. Janina, you have number two. Anótela ahí en su cuaderno. Janina, number two. Diego, number three. Wendy, number four. Anoten su número, por favor. Wendy, number four. Luis Parrilla, number five. Jorge Antonio, number six. Victor Manuel, number seven. Edwin, number eight. Johnny's, number nine. Christian, ten. Dennis Gerardo, eleven. Norma, twelve. Eh, Carla Patricia, number six. Ronald, number seven. Walter, number ten. Okay. Janira, go ahead. I was late for work only one time last year. I am and rarely creo que mm -hmm. late. No, it's okay. That's your answer. Number three. Mari. Failed. Failed. Failed only one test in high school. I said, uh, she usually. She usually? Passed her test. Passed. Passed, Passed. her test. Passed her test. Passed her test. Very good. Number four. Okay. Go, Wendy. Vamos. The microphone, sweetie. Tu micrófono, Wendy, está apagado. I always remember to, to do my homework. I never forget to do, to do it. To do it. I always remember to do my homework. I never forget to do it. Number five. Steven seldom goes to a cinema. He hardly ever sees movies. He hardly ever sees movies, right? He hardly ever sees movies. Very good job. The next one, number six. I have two options for number six. It is said. A doctor for the first time in three years. She almost never gets sick. Okay, and my other option for number six. Tengo dos número seis. Judy saw a doctor for the first time in three years. She hardly ever gets sick. Hardly ever. Very good. Both options are correct. Number seven. I get up. 
Number seven. Sí, sí, soy yo. Uh, I, I get up, I leave a clock seven day a week. Yo le puse que era al always. I always get up early. Very good. Another option for number seven. Igual. <laughs> so you say I always get up early. That was very good. Okay, excellent. Number eight. It's always hot and sunny where I live. That is that's why I never see snow. I snow. never see snow, right? Very good. Do I have any other option for number eight? No. No, no, no. That's good. Number nine. you ever drink coffee yes but only occasionally not often just a few times a week occasionally very good occasionally not often just a few times a week right so you have occasionally it's double c oh i miss one c okay occasionally not often so very good number 10 Oh, my <laughs> the two of you, no, okay, Christian and then Walter. Okay. Walter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my sister almost never eats burger and freeze. She normally eats healthy foods. She normally eats healthy food. Okay, Christian, what is your option? My sister almost never eats burger and fries. She usually eats healthy food. She food. usually eats healthy food, right? She usually eats healthy food. Very good job. Number 11. I don't know. <laughs> I, I usually take a bus to class, maybe three or four days a week. A week. A week. Very good job. I usually take a bus to class, maybe three or four days a week. Perfect. And number 12. Do you ever watch action movies? No, never. Well, I watched an action movie a few years ago. ago. So I guess should say hardly ever. Hardly ever, right? I hardly ever, it's like almost never. You can also have here, almost never. I hardly ever, almost never. And both of them are correct. So all your answers were right. All your answers were correct. In many of the cases, you can use other options. Like for example, in this case, Mary failed only one test in high school. You can say she almost always, right? You can use it like that. And for the options that we have, here I have the possible answers that you could have, right? These were the possible answers, but many of the ones that you got are correct, right? So there you go for the, for the exercise, right? So let's continue here, right? Let's continue with this exercise. It is challenging, yes. It is challenging, but not impossible. No decir, teacher, usted nos pone ejercicios como de intermedio. Because I know you can do it. Yo sé que tienen la capacidad de hacerlo. You are very smart. So it's a little bit of analysis, right? It's a little bit of analysis. And it is good. Well, so before I show you the conversation, I am going to play a listening. I am going to play a listening for you. And I need you please to listen and kind of take notes. Anoten algunas de las ideas que puedan captar del ejercicio. Okay, so I need you to get your notebook. I need you to get your notebook and you are going to take notes about what you listen. Okay, van a anotar lo que, las ideas que puedan del ejercicio. Okay, so I am going to play it and tell me if you can listen. Me avisan si lo pueden escuchar. Okay, tell me if you can listen. Hi, I'm George from Hawaii. 
and I'm Crystal from America. It's very low. His question is, how often do you check your email? Yeah, but you can, can you listen? Yes? No, but it's very low. Yes, very it, it low. is. Right now, it's very, it's very low. The volume is low. But uh, I am going to play it louder. Se lo puedo poner más fuerte, obviamente. Pero si lo pueden escuchar. Sí. Yes, yes. I do. Okay. Listen now. Ahora me van a decir muy fuerte, teacher. Hi, I'm George from Hawaii. And I'm Crystal from America. And today's question is, how often do you check your email? So, Crystal, how often do you check your email? Well, before I used to never check my email, but oh my god, if you do not check your email, you get in big, big trouble. Why? What, what happens? What, I what happened almost to you? got kicked out of my own house before. That I... sounds awesome. <laughs> so, what happened? I haven't checked my email for months, mm -hmm. and they've been sending me like these emails saying, oh, you're going to get kicked out, mm -hmm. and please remove your stuff from your house. Uh -huh. And I never got it to like the last day when I was leaving the country. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, big lesson learned. You must check your email. <laughs> How uh, often do you check your email, George? Uh, I, I check it pretty often, but I just never really reply to anybody. Uh, I, I probably reply maybe once every three months. Yeah, you never reply yeah. to me. My, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. Will you get any idea from the conversation? Uh -huh. Aha, about checking what? Email. The checking Email. emails, right? Email. Checking emails, right? They were talking about checking emails. Was it complicated? Was it complicated to actually get the idea? It was difficult? A little bit, maybe because of the volume, right? A little bit. But now I am going to show you the written form. Aquí le voy a mostrar la parte escrita of the conversation. Okay, and I will play it back. So here we go. Let me just play. Hi, I'm George from Hawaii. And I'm Crystal from America. And today's question is, how often do you check your email? So, Crystal, how often do you check your email? Well, before I used to never check my email, but oh my god, if you do not check your email, you get in big, big trouble. Why? What, what happened? What, I what happened almost to you? got kicked out of my own house before. That sounds I... awesome. <laughs> so, what happened? I haven't checked my email for months, mm -hmm. and they've been sending me like these emails saying, mm -hmm. oh, you're going to get kicked out. Mm -hmm. And please remove your stuff from your house. Uh -huh. And I never got it to like the last day when I was leaving the country. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, big lesson learned. You must check your email. <laughs> How uh, often do you check your email, George? Uh, I, I check it pretty often, but I just never really reply to anybody. You know, uh, I, I probably reply maybe once every three months. Yeah, you never reply yeah. to me. My, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. Was it different when you read it? <laughs> ¿Cuál fue la diferencia? ¿Qué sintieron de diferencia cuando lo estaban leyendo a cuando solo lo estaban oyendo? Yo no lo oí porque el perro de mi vecino no se callaba. Así que... <laughs> Come on. Tampoco no lo alcancé a escuchar bien. Yo no, quería no, escuchar no. y no podía. <laughs> okay. No estaba bien. Okay, you couldn't listen very well, but did, I am going to send you the audio to WhatsApp for you to, to listen to it. But they were talking about uh, the different things that uh, they talk about checking the emails. And it says, hi, I'm George from Hawaii and I'm Crystal from America. And today's question is, how often do you check your email? So Crystal, how often do you check your email? And it says, well, before, I used to check my email. I used to never check my email, but oh my God, if you don't check your email, you are in big, big troubles. Why? What happened? What happened to you? I almost got kicked out of my own house before. It sounds awesome. What happened? I haven't checked my email for months and they have been sending me like these emails saying, oh, you're going to get kicked out and please remove your stuff from your house. Aha. Uh -huh. 
And I never got it until the last day when I was leaving the country. Interesting, she says, a big lesson learned. You must check your email. How often do you check your email, George? Oh, I check it pretty often, but I just never reply to anybody. You know, I probably reply maybe once every three months. Yeah, you never reply to me. Yeah, my bad, my bad, I'm sorry. So he never checks the email. Well, he checks the email, but he never answers. And in the case of, okay, sorry, I'm fighting with my mic. In the case of the lady, now she checks the email very often, right? Big lesson learned, she says. I am going to share, to share the listening to your WhatsApp so you can actually have it complete. This is the last exercise we are going to do because we are missing three minutes on this class. So go ahead on your notebook. I need you to choose three or four, okay? Con tres o cuatro. I'm going to give you the chance to do a couple of them only. Okay, I will make it smaller. <clears throat> Solo lo íbamos a... You can, you can take organize. around four sentences. Just organize them. Yes. You don't have to add anything else. You don't have to add anything else, just organize them. Okay, let's see, who has number one? ¿Quién ordenó la uno? How often do you go to the gym? How often do you go to the gym? Very good job. How often do you go to the gym? What about number two? I How hardly ever go to the, to the gym. gym. I hardly ever go to the gym. What about number three? How often does your teacher drink coffee? How often does your, treat your teacher drink coffee? He drinks coffee every day. every day. He drinks coffee every day. Very good job. Let's see the next one. Number five. When do you when do you usually watch TV? When do you usually watch TV? Very good job. Number seven. Number six. Sorry. We sometimes watch TV in the evening. Very good job. Number seven. What 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 do you do, your friend, on the weekend? Oh, what do what do the subject? Do you friend? What do, do your friends? Your friend do on the weekend. What on the weekend? Okay, so in this one is what do? Y de ahí tenemos el sujeto. Your friends do, do, do the weekend. The week. On the weekend. Okay on the weekends, right? What do your friends do on the weekends? And the last one? 
They usually relax on the beach. Okay, so my dear students, keep working and learning. I am going to see you on Monday. Perfect timing for the class. Me encanta esta clase que me salen perfect. Keep working and learning. I am going to see you on Monday. Have a wonderful week. Practice your English, work on the platform, and relax. Bye bye. Take care. See you on Monday. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Have a good night, my dear class. See you.